Day two brings another snowy morning to Lake Louise. And just as they're preparing for course inspection, everything is brought to an unexpected halt. Unfortunately, there's no power on the mountain. There's some kind of a fire in one of their substations, so never a dull moment on the World Cup, is it? The latest report is that they've postponed inspection until the lift issues get uh, resolved. While emergency crews and staff address the problem, auxiliary power is used to get the stranded athletes off the lifts. At this point in time, the race organizing committee and our operations team are working to see if we can find an alternative to still get the race off today. If there's a possible way to get this race off today, we will do it. Amid the chaos, a plan to get all skiers and coaching staff up the hill is put into action. We're going to go up on snow pads and spec, and then hopefully go up on snow pads again for our race. So, yeah. Hopefully it'll all work out. It'll be a good day. We'll race. We'll go fast. Yeah. It's unconventional, but uh, you know, everyone's excited to race, so we'll make it happen. The athletes being pulled up for course inspection need to adjust even more when a new starting point, one that will make the course considerably shorter than the day before, is set. Because of the power failure this morning, they brought the start down to the point on the mountain that usually hosts the start of the men's Super G. Yep, here we are. Now we're at the lowered start. So hopefully get a race off today. Hey, the show must go on, you know? Let's break down, fires, nothing can stop us. In spite of the morning's twists, the unshakable Michaela remains focused on another successful downhill run. Basically, my tactic for the day is to pretend like I'm sleeping for the entire day except for my run. Truthfully, she's in a great state of mind after yesterday, obviously. Confidence is high, she's having fun with speed. You look at the intervals yesterday, and she's losing the majority of her time between the start and where we're starting today. So hopefully it'll play into our favor. Michaela Schifrin is wondering, will this be the day when she wins her first World Cup downhill? <laughs>